All right, as, oh, whoa. As much fun as the big man bombs are, uh, that was a... Uh, Hey guys, and welcome back to Terror Talk with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You guys might notice that my voice is a little bit different, and that is because I am sick. <laughs> um, you know, it's just a common cold, but uh, yeah, my throat hurts pretty quite a bit. So I'm not going to be talking too much during this episode, but uh, I do want to go over a couple of new things. Um, there is a new version out. Uh, this is version 1.0.0.4. They've, uh, or I guess it's an update. They've uh, added, uh, what is it? A couple of new things to the game. Um, first of all, they've, uh, in or what would you say, made the game better. They uh, integrated it with the Unity. Um, so now it runs faster. There's actually, in your game options, you can make it run fast, or I think good, fast, and fantastic are the options now. Uh, they've also added in a bunch more venture techs uh, from, the, from the community. And they've also changed how techs are loaded in. Uh, before, when you wanted to load a tech, it was pretty much right below here, right? You, you had your open inventory, then load tech, and then close window. But now it's down here at the bottom left with your load, uh, with your anchor button. And they've actually really streamlined it. Uh, you can go through here, you can see all the techs that you have built. Um, and right below it, it'll tell you if it's available or unavailable. Uh, I, it's still a little glitchy because you'll click on it and let's see if it'll do it here. No, it won't. Of course, right when I say it's glitchy, it won't do it. Let's see here. Okay. Well, sometimes you'll click on it, uh, something that's unavailable, and all of a sudden it'll just switch to another tech. You know, it's new, I like it. Uh, you can also see the ones that have been tweeted out, which is a lot. <laughs> and then you can get the ones from uh, Steam also. Eventually they'll load in. And you have filters on the side here. Missing blocks, mark his favorite, rename snapshot, delete snapshot. Which is really awesome because we've had quite a few texts in here that I really don't use at all. I just made them once and that's it. Especially like the most common one, the auto snapshot is the the default tech that they give you after you die. Uh, but yeah, you can mark his favorite. So I have our little charging, uh, our small charger marked as a favorite. And I think... Yeah, show favorites only, so you can go like that. And then it'll make it easier for you to load in text and load out text. Also, switching between text is pretty awesome too, or pretty, yeah, awesome. I like how they did it. So let's go into this guy real quick here. If you go load tech and uh, no, show all of them. So tank me, instead you can go deploy tech, which will actually deploy it, or you can swap current tech and it automatically loads it in with your uh, cab, which is awesome. I really like that ability. Um, it'll make swapping between techs very, very streamlined. Ah, uh, we can't, can't hit him from here. But uh, yeah, with that being said, that's pretty much the big changes to the game, and I really like this overall. Let's jump over here. Let's uh, get rid of this guy. So I ran around to a couple of trading stations, and I got another... Uh, what is it? A big, big top nose propeller, and built this flyer. So it's so far the flyer is pretty good. Uh, I don't like how this is looking. Nope. Fix that and fix that. Okay, now let's load in our charge. Boy, tech. Boom! It's in. Done. And you can also search by name too, which is even awesome. You know. Pretty awesome also. Uh, there's ascending and descending order. So newest to... No. What is this? Probably oldest to newest. I'm guessing at the moment. But yeah. And then you can search by names. Uh, block uh, BB cost. And creation date. That's... I like this. This is really awesome. Um, especially if you're you know, trying to find somebody else's tech that they've built. Sorry, I was just looking at all the pictures. There's so many. And then Steam is still looking for those, but anyways. <laughs> uh, the only thing I didn't like about this is that if you go to like unavailable, it doesn't tell you what blocks you're missing. Like obviously it doesn't, it says it's unavailable. So we're missing something here, which is probably the cluster missile launcher. Uh, yeah, see how it just switched back there. 
because I tried to swap no but yeah it doesn't uh, it doesn't tell you which blocks are actually missing so unfortunately that's one of the downsides to it I wanted to put more big man bombs on here so that's what we're actually going to do we're gonna take off we're gonna go to another trading station if possible um, and hopefully purchase a couple of them All right, there we go. It's, uh, I think I've gone to about 20 training stations and that was the very first time that I found a big man bomb. Uh, so hopefully two <laughs> will be a lot better than just the one. Obviously you guys could see the trouble we were having with uh, that one little GSO guy over here. Uh, we were dealing uh, quite a bit of damage to him, but uh, it wasn't enough to actually just, you know, drain his batteries immediately. Uh, so we'll try and, uh, I'll try and stay in this area. There's quite a few techs around here. And we'll see if we can't uh, destroy them a little bit quicker now that we have two bombs instead of one.
Alright, as, oh, as much fun as the big man bombs are, uh, that was, uh, that was kind of weird. Like, he connected with us pretty good there. I don't even know what he had there. Obviously, it must be cruise missiles or seekers or something. Yeah, I'd say seekers. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Evasive action. <laughs> All right, uh, we're not going by that guy again. We didn't lose any weapons and not too many blocks. Like, I think he got the back of our, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six blocks there. Uh, the wings are still good and everything else. So we're just gonna take that as a blessing. 99% uh, of the time, I usually die with stuff like that, right? But yeah, those are definitely either seekers or the avalanche launchers. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to head back to base here. It's going to take us a while to get back there. And then I want to try something else with this tech. Wow, to be honest, I uh, didn't think we were that far away from our base, but uh, we were super far. It actually, I had to fly all night uh, just to get back here. And almost died a couple of times. Uh, the techs like to spawn. In, well, I was flying close to the ground, but the techs kept spawning in really close to us. Uh, or... I guess they spawned in. Yeah, close, underneath us. Shot up pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, uh, also while I was going to the other trading stations, I did grab some of these uh, jettison steering hovers, so uh, I'm kind of excited to use those or try them out uh, with some new f uh, a new drone. Uh, we don't have enough of those. Oh, wait. What I want? No, I want these. Let's make our vehicle look like it was... Uh, brand new again uh, where is the venture there we go that there whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, that's they going in okay that's SCU causes a lot of issues most of the time and we'll go like that okay blocks now there I would like I was saying before there's something I want to try out and uh, if it works, it'll be pretty cool. If it doesn't work, well, at least we tried it. But what I want to do is actually take a snapshot of this, and uh, we'll go plane two props. We'll save that now. What I want to do is go like this. We have to. We're gonna see if we can even take off the ground first before we actually even try doing what I want to do with these. One. Two. Okay, so let's see if our plane can even handle the weight of these. Otherwise, it's just going to be kind of useless, right? Alright, looks like we can handle the weight. Uh, he's moving... Oh. I was wondering what all of a sudden that jolt was, but yeah, that's the sonic lances firing off. So, uh, when these first came out, you guys were talking, or we were talking about what possibilities we could, uh, or what we could possibly use these for. You guys were saying they're really good for small techs up close. That probably is the case. And then, uh, somebody else said you could use it as, like, uh, what would you say, a Harrier jet? And just do a vertical liftoff? So, let's see if that's actually possible. I'm holding down shift right now. And we'll fire. And it actually works. Uh, it's not the fastest getaway. Oh. Every time they fire, you're definitely going to have to be careful when you actually, when you're in the air, because they still jump you up. Well, let's try that out again. Okay. We're we'll holding down shift. I actually like it, because there's a... You know, if you don't have a runway or you land in the mountains or something like that, or, you know, even in the forest biome, too many trees around us. That's definitely high enough to get you over the trees. It's not like you're going, um... Ooh. Just need to go over the trees, or higher than the trees, and... Yeah, you're good to go, I guess. Uh, this guy's following us again. Let's see if we can... Close the gap. Nope. 
That's the only problem with the, the big man bombs, is that they don't lock in all that great, like, cruise missiles. But if they pack more of a punch, it makes more of a, a little more sense. If they don't... Ooh. Look at all the venture techs. They sure did add a lot in. Which I like. Uh, venture tech was... Techs were, you know, kind of hard to uh, see before, or find before. These sonic lances, though, they are definitely making it a little bit harder to fire multiple shots at one guy, I guess. And if I could actually line up with these guys, it'd be another thing, too. But, uh, yeah, sonic lances are good for uh, vertical takes off takeoffs. It does kind of throw you off when it jumps up like that, but hey, it is what it is. Somehow we're making money, I'm not sure how. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.